what's up guys so as you can see I look the same exact way as I did in the previous video where I put Winston in the uh, the milking stand and everything and that is because it's the same day I went from filming that video straight to this one and what we're gonna be doing today is making starting to plan out our garden and everything um, we found a really sunny area um, right here next to the house I'll show you in a minute but next to our house where it gets a good amount of Sun for a good amount of the day so we're gonna put it there um, what we're gonna be making it out of is a old trampoline we're gonna take the frame cut it in half and um, flip them up to make like the hoops um, you'll see but that's what we're gonna be doing today uh, is trying to get that finished so we're gonna go over and look at the trampoline and make sure that um, we have everything we need to take it apart so we're gonna get that done and then we're gonna bring it back over here and we're gonna get that All built. Right, so you can see this thing is not even a trampoline anymore I wouldn't call it a trampoline it's a pile of junk at this point but i um, gonna get this taken apart that way we can use this to the the main circular circular frame ah, the main circular frame we can use that to turn it into the greenhouse so i'm going to get this thing taken apart and we're going to take it next door and i guess we're going to see what happens Eventually these legs are going to be removed. Uh, I just kept them on there to kind of support everything for for the time being while I kind of figure out where everything, everything's going to be. But you can kind of see it has that hoop house shape and it is, um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's going to work out. But this is it so far. So let's see, the next thing I guess I'm going to have to do is figure out how long I'm going to need it and get some lumber to um kind of make a little frame around the outside of it a little rectangle frame and then put some support beams and all that good stuff and uh hopefully it'll come along but we're gonna see so let's get it done okay so this is what we have so far um you see and we just got it like taken apart and everything we brought it over here and uh i got the hoops up to how they're gonna be i just got some two by fours and kind of screwed them into the metal pipe here and on that side as well and this is one of the legs I just left on for a little bit of support because it was kind of wanting to lean back but anyways we're gonna do this same idea with the two by fours we're gonna probably put one at the top and then one at the middle right here um, that way when we put the uh, plastic over it it uh, has some support you know to kind of hold it up and make it to that hoop shape and then after that this is going to be the front of the greenhouse so right here um, we're gonna build some kind of framework to be able to put a door and everything that we can get in and out of um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go get some wood that I need get all this measured up and cut and we're gonna start putting this thing together she's a hard worker
no good camera fell but uh as you can see we did well let me back up some so we got all the this one as you can see was warped the wood but it should be fine and we got the crossbars all put up so now the only part we got to do is put the frame in the front to make a doorway and all that good stuff and then uh and then i think it'll be ready for some plastic what i think i actually might do real quick is get some kind of post to put here in the center on this metal beam just to uh make sure that it doesn't sag over time you know how the, the wood will start to kind of bend down from gravity and such so i think i'm going to do that and then we'll be ready for the uh the frame in the front for the door All right guys, well we're um, gonna be kind of winding down for the day. This is gonna be like a two day proj process, project. Um, so what we're about to do is kind of clean up and everything for the day and then we have to go to the hardware store and get the plastic to put over it and a couple more two by fours for the frame and the front for the door. But um, it's uh, here, let me show you. It's coming along, I mean, it's looking like a greenhouse. So what I did at the end is I just put some more old two by fours in the front and back there just for more support at the base and to give me something to um staple the uh the plastic to and everything at the bottom but um yeah it's coming along i think it's going to do just fine for a greenhouse it's tall enough for us to walk in it's wide enough for us to get plants in there and everything put some tables and stuff like that hey guys it is the next morning um we're, so here's where we left off yesterday on the greenhouse so again, we just had got the crossbars and this little beam in the center to hold it up, all framed up. So now what we're gonna do um, is just make a frame in the front here so that we can put a door to get in and out of this thing. And uh, then she'll be ready to have plastic put on her. So let's get that done. So that's going to be the main doorway to get in and out of it. Um, I mean, it's not the uh, 
probably not the sturdiest, strongest thing in the world, but I think it's going to do just fine for what we need it to do, which is just to hold some plants and hold a temperature. So um, next thing we're going to do is just put some plastic around this thing, uh, make sure it's all sealed up and everything. And uh, then on the sides here, um, on both sides, we're going to make a little thing with like a PVC pipe that we can use to actually roll the plastic up to this level and um, leave the sides open, you know, so that there's some air circulation in there throughout the day and stuff like that for the plants. My camera died, but we've been at this all day, taking breaks in between and whatnot. Um, we got it pretty much done. So as you can see, we got the back all, I gotta cut that excess off there at the bottom, but got the back and everything all covered up and uh, the sides all covered up. And um, so there she is, so far, not done. All we got left is to cover the front and then get a door put on it, um, which as you can see, the sun's starting to set. So we might not have time to get it completely finished today, but well, I mean, we definitely got a lot done. So that's it, let me just step inside real quick. So. Pretty spacious we can definitely fit in here and everything it works um, so those sides too I left open these flaps because we're gonna um, make these things with some PVC we're gonna put some PVC on the plastic at the bottom so that we can actually roll up the sides and um, let some air ventilation in here um, throughout the days and stuff like that but for now this is what we got it's definitely gonna function as a greenhouse it's not the prettiest thing it was looking really good to me until i started putting this plastic on and uh putting this plastic on isn't easy maybe because i don't have enough uh anchor points to staple it in but uh it's gonna work so all we gotta do like i said is get some plastic on the front put a door on um the door is probably gonna come later i'm gonna get this plastic put on real quick at least to finish it off and um we'll be ready to bring some tables in here and start germinating some seeds it is all done only thing like i said before is the I guess a door you know I'm gonna put a door right here but uh, for now I just cut this piece of um, plastic so that it can hang over it just for temporary you know um, we'll get an actual door put on there soon I'm gonna just put a piece of wood to kind of make the top part like the top frame or whatever for it but that's pretty much it so and as you can see through the plastic there I have some excess I gotta cut off but um, the reason why I left these a little longer and off to the side was that basically I'm gonna put a PVC pipe um, on the bottom of it so that I can roll these up 
so that the idea is to hold these up roll them up so that there's airflow in there and again it's the same thing on the other side um and you can let it down now and then when the pvc pipe is holding it down we we, we will probably line it up with some cinder blocks or something like that to keep it nice and tight but um that's the idea i think it's gonna work just fine and again this is just a temporary little little plastic flat door <laughs> but uh when you step in here there's plenty of room plenty of sunlight i guess i wouldn't say plenty of sunlight because uh the sun's setting right now but during the day it it the sun crosses right over here right across us so there's this open sky it gets gets a good amount of sunlight a day so we'll see if the positioning of it is is a good one but there she is so like i said i'm gonna make some little things on the side here so that we can roll up the sides and um all i gotta do is make a door on the front and it is a hundred percent it's good enough for now i'm gonna get the door built when i have time again i do work a full-time job so um i do this kind of just when i have time on the weekends and when i get off of work and stuff like that but i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you can follow us on this journey we're going to be getting ready for this um gardening season here soon so it's going to be exciting there's gonna be a lot going on here at breezy woods homestead but um we'll see you guys next time again i hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day